2TC, also known as Two Tower Chimps, is an achievement in Balloons Tower Defense 6 where you have to go through every round of chimps using only two towers. Now, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing this with the Sky Shredder, but placing down first and foremost, because we can only afford this one at this given point in time, with this challenge, the Spirit of the Forest, in which we're going to be placing down a druid right here. So let's get cracking with the challenge at hand. Right, on round 10, we can afford our ace, and I suggest putting it over here. This is just one of many possible places which can work in order for this particular combo to work. In the early game, we're gonna have to solely rely on our ace in order to pop all the camo. So as soon as you can, go up to spy plane, and then we'll be pursuing top path after that. But for some crowd control, I think getting hard fawns and then harder fun sorry, harder thunder will be advisable. Just so that the ace is not the only thing dealing with a mass amount of balloons. Top path rather than bottom path with the spirit of the forest because well the vines that spawn from the track are able to pop leads with top path with the hard fawns upgrade rather than bottom path which is primarily better alongside nearby farms for more money generation per ability usage rapid fire lots more darts and then soon we'll be going fighter plane and then possibly after that we'll think about a 240 if not then before round 40 we will pursue the upgrade after the fighter plane which is eluded my memory operation dart storm there we go I think for this challenge, one of our biggest hurdles is going to be round 59, because on round 59, we have camo leads, and without Spirit of the Forest, our druid will not be able to pop any camos, because the vines that it grows on the ground can pop camos, much like spikes can pop camos, but the actual attacks that the druid spawns, such as the vines that it spawns from a certain balloon, and it's lightning and it's fawns can't pop camos without external camo detection yeah honestly i think we should get operation dart storm now just to be safe for the first moab and then go after jungle's bounty we're going to get spirit of the forest before we get sky shredder mostly because with the fawns on the ground we are really safe until the 90s and that's when we're going to need the sky shredder and there we go, that's the first Moab completely decimated there by both of our towers. Needs a smooth sailing so far, like we've had no difficulties whatsoever with this combo so far, which is very surprising because in a lot of combos sometimes I have to slow down in order to check the situation, but here, not a single issue so far. These are two incredibly versatile towers to place down and in combination I feel like the Sky Shredder is going to shred up the Moabs and the Spirit of the Forest is going to handle all of these ceramics extremely well. Like Spirit of the Forest is one of the best towers to have when it comes to dealing with super ceramics. Oh, we got ourselves a little bit... Oh, <laughs> within the mix though, I thought there was going to be a few that was going to escape, which was a little bit... Oh, hold on, we haven't even got Jungle's Bounty. That might help out because then we can spawn an additional fawn from the... Sorry, additional vine from the ground. Okay, some of them made it quite far along the track and we have to solely rely on our plane here in order to pop camos. But once we have Spirit of the Forest... Our means of worrying about camos are pretty much done and over with. Like, we still have DDTs later on, but I still don't think they're going to be that much of an issue here. Ooh, a bunch of camos on this round, but I think we have dealt with them all just fine. Lovely. Sometimes it's the placement of where the plane is at the start of a round that determines if you can get through a round or not. If, and I'll say this, if, if you're having struggles with only one of your two towers being able to pop camos and i realized financially i might have not needed heart of thunder if we we're actually going with spirit of the forest if we didn't have any means of lead popping power that are also camo because we have to solely rely on these pineapples in order to pop all of these so we might need to restart for round if the placement of these pineapples are really unlucky 
And at the moment, we would not seem to have that amount of luck here, but let's see. Okay, so I think this one should be the one. Let's see. Yes, that's the one that's done it. Excellent. I think we're there. Yep, we're definitely there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, as I said, round 59 was probably the only round where it was a little bit of an issue. I mean, we've had a few other rounds where the balloons have made it to the top half of the track on their last lane. But we have the money for Spirit of the Forest. And I put the Spirit of the Forest here because it's most powerful vines that it spawns along the track. Along the second most powerful ones are within these two squares here. So that the majority of the time of when the balloons and the blimps are around this area, it means that they are within contact with the more powerful vines or fawns, sorry, that spawn on the track itself. Yeah, around 63, just not, it's not an issue, it's not even close. This spirit of the forest is shredding these ceramics. Now, when I started doing like two mega pots or two tower chimps sort of stuff, I was quite uninformed about like different communities that are together when it comes to like putting together different uh com not competitions but different um combinations that have been done and all that jazz so sometimes there might be certain strategies which you don't have the um the foresight of seeing before actually being informed so when I was making like claims of like how this tower was impossible, how these two particular towers are impossible, just remember that I'm just one guy. I'm just one person and that my opinion should not be like an ultimatum or anything like that. But at the same time, I can understand why people are a little bit cross or angry with me in my earlier days of doing two mega pops and two tower chimps. And for that, you have every right to be cross or angry with me. Like, I can understand why there's some kind of flack towards me when it comes to that sort of theme. But I like to think that the community of Balloonist Tower Defense 6 has an array of different kinds of players, ranging from people who know the ins and outs of the game, like they know the ins and outs of their hand, let's just say. But there's always something new I find whenever I'm playing Balloonist Tower Defense 6, and that is... That's a sweet thing to see, actually, when there's something new that you discover within the game. So when certain people are kind of cross or mad at me when I make a certain claim, I understand it and I don't blame you for it because there are a lot more people out there that play this game much more uh, seriously than I've had over the years. Like my first like five years of playing this game or first four or three years. <laughs> I can't remember how many years I've played this game now. Um, I've only played this game casually, and I've only really played the majority of my time with times to cash on, and that is a huge turnoff for some people, but for myself back in the day, I prefer to play this game casually, rather than trying to do the best things that are possible in this game if you explore through the game enough. So anyways, rant over with flare balloons, back into the game itself where we have a bunch of ceramics. Excuse me, where'd you go? <laughs> the ceramics just did not appear. The, the vines in combinations with the fawns just made it so that those ceramics were just not appearing. So the vines that it spawns by itself won't target these next few ceramics since they're camo. But the, the fawns on the... Which way is that round? Is it? is it vines or fawns? I think tier 3 and tier 4 are vines and tier 5 is fawns. Yeah, there we go. Vines and fawns. They're both made of wood or plant material of any of some kind at the very least. And we are nearly there when it comes to Sky Shredder. Hope you're having a lovely day where you are. Round 80, our first ZOMG, and to be honest, no worries whatsoever. The further along the track you go, ZOMG, the more damage that my Spear of the Forest will do. Because you are now closest to the Spirit Forest where its fawns do the most amount of damage. And that's why I kind of placed him bottom left so that the second most powerful fawns that spawn on the track are over here as well as the most powerful ones being within the small square itself. And I've just realized that we now have more than enough money for the Sky Shredder. And look at that plane go. Just... It's an incredible behemoth now against all of these Moabs and these BFBs. 
and ZMGs and soon to be DDTs and the bad. Round 85 to ZMGs and this was easy, sorry, even easier than round 80 because we now have a Sky Shredder rather than just the Operation Dark Storm. And still, no worries whatsoever. Round 59 was the closest call and that was reliant upon our placement of pineapples in order to bob the wonderful camo legs. But now we don't have to worry. Also because of that we pursue top path, now the thorns on the ground can damage DDTs. Whereas if you pursued bottom path, you wouldn't be able to damage DDTs. Right, round 90, what are we going to do with these DDTs? And I think, well, <laughs> just an absolute decimation. I think the closest round is going to be round 99. Fortified DDTs are no joke. The amount of RBE compacted into something so fast like a DDT, it's frightening. With some combinations, the bad is more frightening than DDTs. With other combinations, the DDTs are more frightening than the bad. And that's the same thing with two Mega Pops as well. Sometimes it's the DDTs that are more frightening, and other times it's the bad that's more frightening. Round 93 is here. Lovely jubbly. Round 94 is here and look at all of the beautiful destruction that we are creating we are shredding them with our thorns our darts our missiles our vines everything just absolutely everything hello ddts and goodbye ddts just look at that beautiful scenery yeah, I've turned on the old timely Moabs for a little bit of a change. They still have top hats regardless. We're going back to 1800s when the world was only black and white. We have 60k. Do you realize the amount of money that we have? Like, we could spend on something else? Should we? Nah. That would completely break the 2TC achievement if this was your first time pursuing the achievement in and of itself. Round 97 is absolutely done for. Those fortified ZMGs did make it a little bit away. Yeah, this round is going to be even easier than round 97. The total RBE within the fortified ZMGs meant that they would go further. This is just beautiful to watch. Absolutely, yeah, the Spirit of Forest has got even more pops than the Sky Shredder has. Round 99, Fortify DETs are here, and we are... Ooh, some of them made it up here, but to no avail, and now the bad. <laughs> so for some reason, it looks even bigger with the old timely skin. I'm not sure if it's just me, but that blimp just looks so big. Maybe it's just me. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, you gotta have the top hat as well with old times. Elderly teams. Around 100, and we are having a blast. Like we're just 20 minutes into our recording in this event. Yeah, if the DTs are done for, the MZMGs are more than done for. They have no speed and no hope. And we get ourselves a 100 Dark Monkey, which I don't have already. Let's see, 250. Yeah, I think we could have not used the, um, the, the what am I calling here? The Heart of Thunder in order to be able to afford the Spirit of Forest around 59. But to be honest, with a placement of the pineapples, we didn't really need to worry about that. But on round 61, we got that sweet, delicious Spirit of Forest. And once you get Spirit of Forest, it's really hard for things to go through. The only threat really at that point is the bad. Because Spirit of Forest on its own cannot destroy the bad, I believe. But then again, someone may prove me wrong. And I am very happy to be proven wrong. I'm not going to be one of those people that makes a statement and then just sticks by it without some concrete evidence. And I'd say I'm happy to be proven wrong. Because then it's something that I learn at the end of the day. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what kind of two tower chimps or two mega pots you'd like to see me do next or whatever kind of videos i would really love to do a two chow sorry a chimps match of some kind on a harder map like i've done all the beginner maps but there are some intermediate maps i haven't done all of the advanced maps i haven't done and all of the expert maps i have not done so thank you all so much for watching and see you all in the next video 
Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everyone.